hi guys welcome back to another video so i've never done a pretty little thing haul before um basically because i'm kind of a cheapskate and i always find like a lot of their clothes quite expensive at least the ones that i really like but i love their clothes like they're just so fashionable and i'm trying to be fashionable so i actually got the majority of these on vintage but don't let that that like turn you off because i actually have managed to find like links for a lot of them like some of them are literally new and pretty little thing but i found them on vintage for like over half the price so it's going to be a good haul i'm going to try everything on and yeah i just feel like i'm in a bit of a good mood today the hair is just doing its own thing and we're going to allow it i've got a pepsi max it is like 10 in the morning so don't judge me all right i'm, I'm trying to i just need the energy even though it's no caffeine so it's not really doing anything but i'm trying to lower my caffeine intake so i can feel slightly less guilty about being addicted to pepsi maxes so yeah, that's that's the current situation. Um, I hope everyone's having a good weekend or had a good weekend, I suppose, because it's now technically like Sunday when you're watching this. So I hope everyone's had a good weekend. It was Father's Day today in the UK. Um, so yeah, I hope everyone's had a nice day. And yeah, hope you enjoy the video. First things first, obviously. Oh, that sound is just like, it's just music to my ears. Like it might actually be my favorite sound on earth. Like, oh. Mm. this isn't cold though because i didn't have time to put it in the fridge i was literally just like ravenous i was like just grab it from the cupboard i just couldn't i just couldn't wait so right pepsi max is like my coffee like i feel like i can't function until i've had it which is actually really bad but i don't usually have it in the morning i just want to like say that now but let's get started with the haul i'm going to show you everything first and then i'll do try on clips which honestly like, i said this in my last video if you don't do youtube you don't know the struggle of doing try on clips in this heat like it's just i mean you can see my fan in the background that i've had to put it on a chair so it reaches across to me because otherwise it would just reach my boyfriend he'll get all of it and then i'll just get none of it so we have to have it on a chair so that it can go over to me as well because i was it's just unbearable like it's literally just unbearable so yeah i hope everyone's doing all right in the heat and i just want to say that i appreciate the try on clips because getting in and out of clothing in this heat and having makeup on in this heat like not a bit of me but yeah let's get started I also feel like I have to do this video quite quickly because I've got to go and buy my dad some chickens for Father's Day, which I don't mean like the meat chicken, like I mean like a pet chicken, like I've got to go and buy him some pet chickens because that's just what he wants, um, don't ask, I mean to be fair I, I kind of get it because chickens are actually really cute, um, so yeah I've got to go get him some chickens from a farm in a minute so I can't really be too long but I still wanted to show you guys. I'm going to start with probably my favourite item and I really hope this fits. I've not tried any of this on yet so this could be a massive fail. This is the thing that I saw on the new in section of Pretty Little Thing and I was like this close. <laughs> I was so close to buying it um, and then I saw the price and I was like oh. I mean to be fair this price wasn't actually too bad. I think it was in the sale at the time so I mean I'm probably just being a bit tight there. But I found on Vinted with tags in still. So let me just show you. I keep talking. I just need to show you. So this is, it's like, I think what it is is a beach dress. I didn't realise that until I got it. But, I mean, I love it still. So it's this dress. It's not actually that long. It's like, I would say, probably just above my knee. Um, You'll see on the triangle clip. And then it's kind of got like a big gap out of the back. And then, yeah, it's just in this gorgeous, like, it's kind of like an olive colour. That's what I want to say. I'll read out the thing, but I will link this because I'm pretty sure it's still on there. So it says, olive stripe racer neck open back shift dress. And I got this in a size 12. Um, and yeah, it literally still has the tags on. So I just love it when you go on Vinted and you find something new with tags and you're just like, it just, it just like gets me excited. I'm just such a like bargain hunter. Like I just, it's a bit of a thrill for me, you know? So yeah, picked up that. Hopefully that looks really nice on. I feel like it would go really well with a bikini that I picked up, but I'll probably actually show you next because they're like the same colour and that on holiday, especially this colour with a tan, like, I'm sorry, that's going to look so nice. So I might as well still, sh like, I might as well show you this bikini next. So it's definitely going to go well together. I mean, it's a little bit brighter, but I feel like it's going to look cool. So it's kind of in like, I mean, you can see the it focuses yeah you can kind of get the vibe of the material i think the brand i'm thinking of it's like a really expensive swimwear brand i think it's called hunza g something like that and it's that kind of material so i guess you can kind of say it's like a dupe of it because they do like swimming costumes and bikinis that are all that material and it's like apparently it's meant to be like amazing quality not saying this will be like anyway compared to that but i think that's what they're kind of trying to do with the pattern i know that primark have also done that as well so this also had the tags on and everything these are the bottoms it says lime soft crinkle tie side bikini bottoms i got these in a size 14 um but i thought it doesn't really matter because you'll see you can tie them and they're actually quite good coverage 
because I'm not gonna lie, I have a lot of bikini bottoms that are very like very cheeky let's say um and yeah every time i hang out with my family like on holidays and like just in the summer i'm always a bit like why did i put a thong bikini on like why did i do that to myself so i thought i probably do need some with a bit more coverage just because yeah a bit weird but also like i don't i don't like wearing full coverage ones because i want a tan bum do you know what i mean like if you know you know so yeah i got them in size 14 and then the top is literally just a triangle top Triangle tops are not my favourite, but they are growing on me just because of how, like, versatile they are. Like, you can literally tie them in so many different ways. Like, it's actually ridiculous. I saw... I mean, I think this whole trend started, like, a year or two ago with people on Love Island. They were, like, tying them like that rather than, like... I mean, this probably isn't looking any different because it's all just undone. But there's so many different ways you can tie a try on... Try... Tie... That's my tongue twister. Tie a try on bikini. So, yeah. I didn't even do that right. Tie a tie a triangle tie on bikini. I don't even know. Listen, it's too early for this. So yeah, that is the bikini. It's I mean it's looking a lot brighter on camera. I feel like it's not actually that bright. It's more like the olive colour. Um I can't remember how much I paid for everything, but again, I'm gonna try and link this on Pretty Little Thing because I'm sure they'll still have this, if not a very similar bikini. So don't worry if you like the stuff that you see, you can probably still get it. And even if you can't get it on Pretty Little Thing's website, you can probably just do a deep dive into Vinted like I do. Like I spend every day I just scroll through Vinted because you just never know what you're gonna find. And if you do search for it, like it's pretty good. You can refine the searches enough that you probably would find something similar on there. But yeah, I'm gonna do my best to link the stuff on Pretty Little Thing. Okay, this is the beach dress um, with the bikini underneath. So this is the back. It's exactly what I thought it would be. The only thing is it's a little bit tight. I probably should have got a 14, um, but it is gorgeous, like with a tan. And then this is the bikini. I'm not gonna go like full on and show you, but that's the color of it. It is literally the nice olive green. I feel like it's gonna look really, no oh, I feel like my belly is really showing there, but I love that. Um, yeah, I feel like it's perfect for like a tan and I just love it. Right, the next thing I'm just going to get out of the way because it just, it's not, it's not the vibe at the moment, all right? It's a wintry dress and I'm not going to lie, I kind of do regret getting it because I didn't realise how long it was. That is the only thing with Vinted, obviously, you don't see, well, some people do take pictures of it on, but if I'd have seen this on Pretty Little Things website on the model, I probably would have realised it was probably far too tall for me. It might have even been, been part of the tall, um selection so it's called white buccal did you say buccal or boucle i don't even know knit button front maxi dress and i got a size medium so i mean it is gorgeous it's gonna be so nice in the winter it's like a really soft knitted dress but when i tell you it's long like like it's long it's like one of them handkerchiefs like magicians pull out of their sleeve it just keeps going and going and going um so yeah i don't really i'm gonna try it on but i just don't see this fitting me so I might have to put that back on Vinted because obviously that is the good thing with Vinted. If something doesn't fit you, you can just like resell it. Like it's recycling, isn't it? So it's good. So yeah, I mean, I do like it. I love it, but um, it just might be a bit too long. Also, I'm going to try my hardest to try this on, but please bear in mind, it is so hot today. So if you don't see a try on clip of this, just mind your own business, all right? Because it was, I just, I was dying in it, all right? I then picked up a blazer. I love a blazer. Like I... At one point, I had a blazer in pretty much every colour you can imagine. And that is my dream. Like, when I think of my life, like, my dream life, right? Obviously, there's loads of other things. But this is just... <laughs> this is going to sound pretty, like, shallow. But it's, obviously, there's loads and loads of things. But one thing I've always had since I was a little girl is, like, this big wardrobe. And then just, like, one section is all just blazers. And it's got... I think, like... Pe is it Perry Sian or Perry San? I don't know how to pronounce her name. But she has it. She has a whole section in her wardrobe just of blazers. And it just goes, like in color coat oh it's just dreamy um so yeah that is the that is the goal but for now it's just literally like you know a tiny little section just stuffed in the wardrobe um but yeah i picked up this basic beige blazer it's actually cropped it's really nice as well like the pattern kind of makes it look like a lot more expensive than it was um again i'm sure this is probably still available on pretty little things website this also still had the tags in i've done quite well finding the tags still haven't i um so this is called petite top cropped oversized suit blazer and i got it in a 14 because i do always like to size up in blazers just because i think it's nicer to have them oversized so yeah i thought that would look really nice in the summer when you just want something light to chuck on you can wear it really casual just over with like jeans and denim shorts or i feel like you probably could dress it up so yeah i'm really happy with that and i obviously will show you what it looks like on okay i've had to move to my living room to do this um like try on clips because my bedroom was too small so sorry if the lighting's not great but yeah 
this is the best you're gonna get so this is the blazer on it's just it's like a staple really i feel like you can't go wrong with something like this it's a really nice like length and yeah, it feels really comfy and light, so perfect for the summer. About halfway through the haul and I'm dying already. It's just so hot. Mm. Right. Now, oh, do you know, let's do... Next, I'm going to do the dress and then I've got like a few basic kind of tops that I'm very excited about. So this dress, I got a long, long time ago and I, I'm pretty sure, I know I keep saying that with everything, but I'm, I'm sure this is still on Pretty Little Thing, but I got it from Vinted a really long time ago. And... I'm hoping it's not going to be see-through because it's the thinnest material ever and that's why I liked it because I just thought for the summer this is going to be perfect like it's so soft and it's kind of like fitted I mean I know I'm not really doing it justice but obviously we'll see it tried on and it's this gorgeous like floral pattern and I just thought that would be so comfy and light for summer but also I do go to America in like September time and it's always obviously so hot there and we're doing like like universal we're doing like all the Disney parks so you kind of need something like light and airy so I thought that'd be perfect for that and still look kind of cute um so this is called white ditzy floral square neck shift dress size 14 yes yeah, so it's a square neck which I as well I feel like it's quite flattering as well so yeah I got that in a size 14 um just that's what the person was selling on vintage but I saw a lot of people selling this dress on vintage so if you don't find it on Pretty Little Things website I'm sure you can find it on vintage because literally I saw at least 10 people selling this dress it must have been really popular at the time I don't I don't know but I liked it and I wish you could feel how soft and like light and airy it is it's going to be perfect for summer okay this is the dress on I don't know how you can tell but like it is very very short it is everything I hoped it would be though like it's really slinky and that's how I describe the material is very slinky also I had to put my hair up because it was just getting a bit frizzy um humidity is hitting me already and I'm literally inside um but yeah it's like really soft comfy airy it's just a little bit short so don't know if I'm gonna feel comfortable enough wearing this out I mean I am only five foot two so you'd think it would be okay but I don't know maybe I just need to wear some like big knickers <laughs> underneath or like just some shorts something just so if it does you know if a gust of wind comes and then I'm not really too bad do you know what I mean so yeah but I love this if you do find this definitely get it because it's so comfy right I then picked up a few tops slash corsets so I've wanted a denim corset for a really long time and I saw this and I was like, I mean, it's not the dream corset, but it would it would do. And I'm, I don't even know if it fits. I'm really, ho I hope it does. But it's this denim corset. Corset or corset? I don't even know. And then the back is just like a zip. So it should be pretty easy to do on, to put on. I got it in a size 14 because again, like I was just scared and I thought, oh, I'll just grab the next size up just in case. Because things like this, I feel like are always quite tight. Especially if you do have like big boobs. I'm not saying I have massive boobs, but as in like you know i've got something going on there so i feel like i needed a size 14 i really hope this will fit i don't really know how to style this yet like if you have any ideas please let me know in the comments because i mean do we do denim on denim i feel like denim on denim works when it's the same denim like the same color but when it's not it's a bit like oh did you mean to do that or did you just you know were you going for something different so i don't know because that's what in my head i was like oh I'll just wear it with denim shorts but now i'm like i don't know if i have a denim that matches that exactly so yeah let me know what you think i could style this with because yeah i literally have no clue i'm not that great at styling like i buy all these things and i'm like yeah that's fashionable that's fashionable and then i'm like what do i put it with like i'm just stuck so yeah please let me know with that please help okay this is the denim corset i've just put it on with some white denim jeans because like i said i don't know what to pair it with i really really do need help i feel like it is quite flattering though like it's doing it's doing bits for my boobs and yeah, it fits me fine, actually. I was a little bit worried, but no, it actually fits me fine. I just don't know how to style it. Like, does it look weird? Does it look strange with the white shorts? I don't know. I need help. It's getting real. I can feel the sweat between my legs now, like the chub rub. She's on her way, all right? So I'll need to speed this up a little bit. So then the next top I got isn't a corset, but it's a bit of a basic. It's like a bandeau. And obviously, when you see up close, you can see the material. It's like a it looks like padded but it's not and i just thought that was so like simple but really really nice this didn't have the tag in um but i'm pretty sure i paid like one pound for it or something like that from vintage i got this in a 12 um so yeah hopefully that fits but i thought that would be really really nice just like a really like 
simple but like classy outfit like with just some jeans or like just some denim shorts everything i style i'm just like jeans denim shorts like this is what i'm saying i need to get more creative but yeah i just really liked that and like i said i think i paid like a pound i will look for it on the website don't you worry i will try and find it for you okay we're on to the last item i think i only got like eight or nine things i've been accumulating this over weeks and i've just been wanting to do this haul for so long but i've been waiting until i've got like enough for a haul and i feel like that's enough, do you know what I mean? You'll see it all on, and obviously I can always do a part two if you enjoyed this. Or I was thinking, like, I could, oh, just give you a little sneak peek. I was thinking I could do just, like, a general, like, vintage haul if you, if that was something you wanted to see. Or I can keep doing this as a series where it's, like, vintage finds of, like, Pretty Little Thing, Primark, Zara. Like, I did a Zara one a long time ago, I think, like, last year. Um, and I'll see a Pretty Little Thing one. I also did an In The Star one a few months back. Um, but, yeah, I don't know if people like these series or not. I feel like people just want to see the actual, like, shop. Um, but I can't, like, I can't just keep, like, buying all these clothes. I know I can take them back. Like, I feel like that's what a lot of influence... I'm not saying I'm an influencer. I'm far from it. But I just mean, like, I feel like a lot of people that do hauls must just take it all back. Like, how can people afford to be doing, like, 100, 200 pound hauls all the time? Like, it's just not doable for me. Like, I'm just an everyday kind of girl. Like, I have a very normal job and, like, this isn't obviously a full-time job or anything so i can't afford to like constantly be buying clothes so i need to find some kind of like happy medium obviously primark is like a lot more affordable and i can kind of do one of them once a month but brands like this and yeah zara and stuff like that, i just can't be doing it all the time so yeah vintage is like a good like in the middle kind of place for me and to be able to still do these hauls and still show you stuff that's why i try and grab stuff that is kind of like new in as well because i feel like then it gives you the opportunity to to, to still shop it on the website if it's something that you can afford or that you want so yeah anyway on to the last item i don't even like so it's basically like a vest right obviously as you can see like a waistcoat i think that's what it's called i'm not so convinced this will fit me it's a size 12 but it looks quite small and then the back it's got like this proper like suit detail this is bringing me back to my waitressing days i'm not gonna lie if this was in black i wouldn't have looked twice at it i would have been like absolutely not because it's got like flashbacks of being a waitress um i used to be a waitress for like weddings in a castle and we used to have like the strictest uniform and it used to be like a waistcoat a tie a shirt a blazer skirt like even in the heat when we were doing weddings outside it that was it like you had to keep everything on it was unbearable um so i don't know why i didn't think that when i saw this i just thought oh that's fashionable i didn't think oh my god that's traumatic um but yeah i think because it's in blue i can kind of like you know comp what's the word compartmentalize compart compartmentalize compartmentalize i don't know but you know the word i'm looking for don't you so yeah it's just this like vest it's honestly i feel like it's it is quite fashionable and this i'm guessing you can also undo it or make it a bit looser I'm, i really hope this will fit but again it's an awkward color where it's like blue so does it go with jeans uh, to be fair i have some white denim shorts that i feel like this would look quite cool with um other than that again what do i wear this with like <laughs> please help me because i did not think this through when i bought all these fashionable things i just assumed i had stuff to go with it but reality is i don't because most of the time i can't afford fashionable things if it wasn't for vintage so yeah help me please <laughs> Right, I look like a sweaty mess because I just finished trying on the stuff. But I just tried on the waistcoat, the blue waistcoat and the bando beige top. And there is just no chance of them fitting me. So yeah, that's why there wasn't trying on clips of those ones. Sorry about that, guys. But look, you can see... Look at the sweat, all right? I tried. I tried to squeeze myself into it, but it's just... It didn't happen, all right? So that's fine. We'll just resend them on vintage. But yeah, that's why there's not trying on clips. <laughs> But yeah, that is everything in the haul. Like I said, I can definitely do another one of this, a part, part time, part two haul to it. Or yeah, just let me know in the comments what kind of videos you want to see. Obviously, I feel like my hauls attract a lot of new viewers, so then they don't care about things like um, about like vlogs and stuff. But I do really enjoy filming vlogs, and I would love to film some more. But yeah, I just feel like not enough people actually care about my life enough to see a vlog. But let me know if you think i should do more vlogs or any particular like clothing haul you want to see i don't really do like challenges and stuff like that i just feel like i'm, I'm a bit like old for that I don't, I don't know no offense if people are out there doing challenges i the only challenges i like doing are like makeup like test it's not really a challenge is it like just testing makeup full face of like primark beauty i like doing stuff like that and i was thinking about doing like a poundland one i know that might sound a bit weird but like testing what their makeup's like because i just feel like i always see it in poundland i'm like 
I wonder if that's good. I've done a Primark one, um, I've done an Audi one. So yeah, just let me know what kind of videos you want because I feel like I always get to a point in my videos where I'm always a bit like, oh, I'm lacking the inspiration now because I just wanna, like when I'm going on holiday, like I'm going to Paris next month and then I'm going to obviously Florida, Disney, like I can make really fun content out there in America. Like I'm literally, I'm gonna be filming so many videos in America. So it's like, I'm really inspired for that. But in like the meantime, I don't wanna just like not film videos. But it's also hard like thinking of two videos every single week but yeah let me know if there's anything in particular you would want to see and just comment if you enjoyed any of the clothing like if you if you can help me style it please please comment because i need all the help i can get but yeah thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please please leave a like and subscribe because i would love to hit 1000 subscribers by the time i go on holiday like i've been saying that like ever since i started like the only goal i ever had in mind this sounds really bad was like 1000 subscribers i don't in my head i can't see it going further than that like i just can't comprehend but for me it's like i aim for that goal and then when i achieve that goal i'll set a new goal do you know what i mean like i don't want to aim for like this massive massive amount um so yeah i would love to hit 1000 subscribers um in the summer so yeah please do help and support if you do enjoy watching my videos because i think it's like so many percentage of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed like you can see the percentage on your youtube studio and i was a bit like oh that's not good but i don't know how else to fix that other than just literally beg so yeah please do but yeah thank you so much for watching and hopefully i will see you in my next video bye